1 Corinthians 6 and, and 14. And Yahweh hath both raised up the Lord and will raise us up by his, his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Hamashiach? Shall I then take the members of Hamashiach and make them the members of an harlot? Yahweh forbid. No, what know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two sayers shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto Yahweh is one spirit. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakagadash. The bond to the apostles and elders a great millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with truth, sincerity with charity. Presenting your bodies to live in sacrifice. We are ready to live. Salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson. All right. And it's um, basically based off um, a video I just was looking at. to the very um subject of this lesson um uh, only for, saw a few seconds of it I'll probably watch a little bit later but um it's just irksome to, to even see these guys man in iuic because these are what you would call american israelites man okay these guys are really um greeks romans americans they're not Israelites, man. All right. They don't call on the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And they, they teach a very world-friendly doctrine. All right. Okay. And what does the scripture say about that? This is James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is, enemy, is enmity with Yahweh? For whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of Yahweh. All right. And uh, I remember that um, the time um, one of the IUIC members' um, son had got shot by the police. This was years ago. And you had the, uh, that one guy, Bishop Kanai, basically, you know, they were interviewing him. He was like, yeah. We believe in Jesus Christ, all right? And that's an idol, okay? So these guys are joined to the world, and they want to be viewed, and they want to be a part of this world, man. They want to be liked, you know, which is why they shave down the doctrine, man. You know, they shave down the doctrine, man. Okay? But we're not to be uh, members of... We're not supposed to be friends with this world. We're not going to teach a friendly uh, doctrine, man. Because what did Yahweh Shah say? Um, let me get a scripture. All right. Uh, this is John 8 and 23. And he said, then ye are from beneath, I am from above, ye are of this world, I am not of this world. All right, Yahweh Shai is not of this world, okay? The doctrine is not of this world, and it's not something that can be joined unto this harlot, all right? Because when you go into the word Babylon, or Babel, it basically just means confusion. Confusion means with mixing. This doctrine, the doctrine, the true doctrine of Yahweh Shai cannot be attached to nor mixed with this world. Okay, it's not going to be world friendly. Okay. Um, this is John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Okay. And for the most part, there's enmity between 
us and IUIC. We don't fuck with those guys and they don't fuck with us for the most part. And why is that? Because we are the true body of Yahweh Shah. All right. And these men hate Yahweh Shah. That's why they, um, matter of fact, let me get a scripture to explain it. This is Jeremiah 23. Uh, let me start at 26. It's Jeremiah 26. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. And that's definitely them. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to their neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. All right, and these are the prophets of Baal. They're not the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, because they're not proclaiming the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. All right, they're adding and taking away from the scriptures. Okay, and like I said, they're really joined onto this world. They're really of this world. You know, they they they're from beneath. The doctrine that we teach is, is is from above, man. And we're not shunning, as as Paul said, to declare the whole counsel of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. We're not leaving anything out, man. Because it says in the Revelations, uh, the 22nd chapter, if you do add or subtract from the scriptures, the Lord is going to add onto you the plagues that are written in this book. <sighs> All right. So we're to keep this word as is, and we're post, and we're to, um, matter of fact, matter of fact, let me just get a scripture. All right, this is, um, This is Leviticus 10 and 10, and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean, and that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which Yahweh has spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. That's the job of a priest, man. Uh, uh, we're supposed to separate the holy from the profane. All right, uh, let me get another one. Ezekiel 44 and 23. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane and cause them to discern between the clean and the unclean. All right, and these people are not, and these guys at IURC, they're not doing that. They're joining, onto, they're joining you onto a harlot, man. Uh, let me read this one. This is Ezekiel 22 and 26. Her priests have violated my law have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they showed the difference between the clean and the un between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profane among them. And they definitely have done that. They, they, they don't go by the Sabbath the right way, even though they know we're teaching it the right way. All right. They, 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 they're clean. They're, claiming that they keep the laws but they're breaking the laws man these are the wicked scribes and pharisees coming back all over again man all right and uh they haven't separated the the, the holy from the profane man jesus christ is profane man that's an idol all right jesus christ is a is a damn idol man and but yet you got the people uh calling on that name that's why scripture says all tables are full of vomit, man. You know? So we're set against uh, uh, you wicked uh, prophets, man. You false prophets, man. Because we're against this world, man. You know, just like our Lord and Savior is against the war, this world, man. This world has declared war against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. All right? And us being citizens of the kingdom of heaven, we're, 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 we're greatly offended and we're going to defend 
all right, that kingdom, all right, and everything that comes with it, the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, uh, our Father, Yahweh. Uh, we're going to defend this gospel as, as it is. All right, we're going to keep the ordinances as they were given, man. And we're going to mark those that cause division, man. All right, so, yeah, we're at war uh, with you false prophets, man. And really, um, you know, uh, what the Lord said, these are smoke in my nose. Because these guys think they're holier than thou the whole time. They think, they think they're on some kind of level, man. All right. And they're going to be shocked. As scripture says, this was he we had sometime of derision and a proverb of reproach. These people are going to be ashamed when they find out who the Lord's really dealing with, man. You know, it's going to be a funny thing to see, man. All right. There's a little lesson I wanted to do, you know. Uh, um, <laughs> all right. Uh, hold this medification within it and show them.